memories. Yeah, we're going to talk more about yeah. that. Is that the old one or the new one? That sounds to me like the new version. Yeah, it does. The updated We Are the World. Now, here's the deal. Every time on this show we say, hey, big news. Everyone thinks that one of them's pregnant or getting divorced. <laughs> not, no, not thanks. <laughs> thanks. Let's see, which one would be getting pregnant? Which one would be getting divorced? Oh, I am only <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Nobody's getting married. Oh, no one's no, getting divorced, no babies. and no one's having babies. No, no, right. That I know of. But there is huge news here on the set, ladies. Would you like to tell the world what we're about to announce? You can let us do the honor. Okay. Please do the honor. We're moving, but I mean not like. Physically, kind of. The show is moving on Monday, March 1st. There's Chris and I moving boxes. We're moving to Channel 2 at 10 o'clock in the morning. There Following Regis and Kelly. Yes, yeah, so you can watch Regis Kelly and then you can just stay with us and we'll have the everyday show at 10 o'clock on Channel 2. It's going to be the same cool show at a brand new time. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Doesn't so, that sound like it? At a brand new time. <laughs> you get twice the fun. <laughs> you get half the time. So and it'll be. We, and that's starting March 1st. March the 1st. It starts March 1st. Yeah. Getting up a there lot earlier. So there you have yeah. it. Oh, also. I'm getting divorced and I'm pregnant. Oh, <laughs> Just so that you know. <laughs> Boom! And he's Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> One of us needs to be. We'll talk later too about something the Catholic Church is upset uh -oh. about. Uh -oh. Was Jesus gay? It's a crazy story. But first, you heard that we are the world bit, right? Yes. yes. This is the thing these days. It's called the War of the Worlds, mm -hmm. okay? The versions of We Are the World, which one's better? Today, the new remake debuted at number two on the Billboard charts. It's received 8 million YouTube views, wow. ranks number one in the iTunes charts, but then hasn't stopped singers like Jay-Z from slamming this new version. He's come out and said the original is an untouchable, that they messed it up by trying to redo a classic. The New York Times chimes in today and says that the talent pool on the new version is shallow. So, I want to know what you guys at home think. Facebook us, or you guys chime in. Should they have messed with a classic or not? Why can't you change it? It's a different version. It doesn't mean one has to be better than the other. It's just a different version. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it at all. They're no, just different updating artists, it. New yeah. artists. For goodness sakes, the whole thing's for a good cause. I mean, why That's slam it, right it? The whole thing is about raising money yeah. and the millions of dollars. So, have you listened to the whole new version? You uh -huh. like it? I, you know what? I had, I have fun watching it. I had fun watching it when they did the first one. I had fun with the second one and seeing all the different people sing. And I think yeah. they had a great lineup. Yeah. She loves it so much. She's going to sing right now. Go ahead. No. <laughs> we are the world. You got to put your hand Only on your... in my car. We are the children. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to change things up and go out down to Los Angeles. My good buddies at TMZ.com, my favorite website, my favorite show. And Nina, I know that you, for me, will give me your best hand on the ear. We are the world. We are the world. Go ahead, Nina. <laughs> We are the children. Oh, no. yeah. she's got a beautiful she voice. Did it. Girl, no, you can no. work it. <laughs> hey, let's talk about uh, the big headline there on your website. You got the scoop early on with this. Uh, Tiger, of course, making his statement tomorrow. Is his wife going to be there with him or not? Well, that's the big question, and we don't know if she's going to be there, but we can kind of put the signs together. So here's a clue number one. She was decked out in Nike gear today, photos of her with a Nike hat, pants, shirt on, even the Nike shoes. She hasn't worn any Nike gear since she broke up with, uh, or since she separated from Tiger. So that's kind of interesting. Also, her car has been spotted at his home um, oh. on several different occasions, and they actually left together today, two separate cars, but went to the same location. So that's also another hint. So I think she definitely may be on deck tomorrow to support him. So there won't be any Nike divorce papers that you know of? <laughs> Not that I know of. It looks like she is definitely still, you know, she's got the trademark on her and, you know, no wedding ring, though. Neither one of them is wearing their wedding ring. We saw that in the picture of Tiger yesterday. By the way, looks like Tiger got one over on all you guys in the paparazzi because that photograph, aren't you saying it was an arranged photo? Well, yeah, a lot of, I mean, the area that he was in is a, definitely a closed area where it's very hard to get into. Um, and he, the, clearly the camera guy was pretty close up. So, you know, it definitely appears to be a setup photo. Not that he wasn't out jogging, but that it was definitely just arranged. Yep. And just to kind of, you know, clash down on the paparazzi, because anybody who got that photo, it would have been worth hundreds of thousands to maybe even garnishing a million dollars at one point, because nobody has seen him since November. Well, he does look good. We're all waiting to see what he says. That's tomorrow morning. Nina, you're the best. And don't forget, Nina, we are the world.
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, Nina. I like her. She's got Sassy. spunk. Uh, Sassy molassy. All right, if you watched the Olympics last night, you know who else had spunk. Lindsey Vaughn and Sean White. They are true American idols, and they're even proving it in the ratings. The Olympic telecast last night actually beat out American Idol. In the hour they were head-to-head, -head, the Olympics earned 30 million viewers. Idol got 19 million. It's the first time any show has beaten American Idol wow. since May of 2004. But I say if anyone's going to do it, let it be the Olympians. Exactly. Sean exactly. White was one, one heck of a performer last night. All right, quickly, someone alert Professor McGonagall. Could Harry Potter be Harry Plagiarizer? Is that good? That's very good. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Author J.K. Rowling has been slapped with a lawsuit accusing her of stealing the idea for her Harry oh, Potter come books. On. She's being sued by the estate of Adrian Jacobs. They accuse Rowling of stealing ideas from their book, Willie the Wizard. According to the suit, parts of the 1987 novel were used in four Harry Potter books. Rowling says it's not true. She says she's never heard of Willie or his wizard. Never heard of him. Okay, Elton John knows all the big names. But how well does Elton John know the big guy upstairs? Elton is on the cover of this weekend's Parade magazine. And in the article, he drops a bombshell. Not a joke. Elton comes out and says he thinks Jesus was gay. He says, quote, I think Jesus was a compassionate, super intelligent gay man who understood human problems. When reached for comment, the Vatican did respond. They said, girl, no, you didn't. What did they say? What did they say? What the girl, you already have upset the Pope enough today. Let's move on. You know, I have yet to win my Oscar. I have yet to win it. Though I did win the 1974 World's Greatest Guy. Uh -huh. Have you seen that on my yes, desk? Yes. No Oscar for me, but I can dream of the Oscars. And check this out. A sneak peek of the big set. The Academy showing off animation today of what the show will look like mm. in just a few weeks from now. Going to be held once again in the Kodak Theater. You've been there, Libby. <laughs> Haven't you? To the Kodak I Theater? I was on the scaffolding across the street. You were on the scaffolding across the street? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get comments from the stars? That's yeah, pathetic, it Natalie. Was. Jeez. Even, even Natalie gets inside the big <laughs> award shows. Not that one. <laughs> Academy Awards airs on Sunday, March the 7th. He is the hottest celeb in Hollywood, Robert Pattinson from Twilight. Oh, Libby loves him. Oh. You can't have the real man, Libby, but you can have the man low. Check it out. It is, the, oh, it is the hottest item online. He's half man, mm -mm. half pillow. No. The, the man, man low. Heck. Not a joke. The website itsy.com selling the stuffed stud saying, quote, for all the Twilight crazed lonely women in the world, oh, Edward oh, Cullen terrible. is here to be with you. Sleep with him. No. Cuddle with him. Use him as a neck rest. Oh, that's terrible. And like Dave Frazier, wash him only once every month and a half. <laughs> that's terrible. I have those long body pillows and you're They're pregnant. Creepy. Yeah, like, yeah, but it's with a head on it. Creepy. Creepy. I think my husband would have liked that. <laughs> creepy, creepy. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. See you later, ladies. <laughs> Women are having kids later and later these days. But even with so many fertility options, the clock is ticking. Up next, we're talking about a way you can take hold of your own fertility and help extend that timeline. I love you so let's fucking get it.